welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Today, we have another favorites video. So I'm doing my favorites, my top five, five favorite plants for the month of August. So I just go through and I pick plants that have really stood out to me that I can't stop staring at, that I love over the month of August. I feel like this month flew by and we literally just filmed our July favorites, but that's okay. That's okay, because I have some exciting ones for you. It's hard not to just pick all Hoyas, because I love my Hoya so much, but there are a few on this list, of course, mixed in with some other plants. Somebody asked me recently on my channel, if I collected plants besides Hoyas. And I was like, this is probably your first video. You should go watch others. But I have lots and lots of different genre and I love them all, except for maybe like Peperomia. I have one. There's one down here. Oh, you can't see it. I lied. I have a few Peperomia, but we don't always get along. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to talk to you about my top five favorite plants of the month of August. So before we get into this video, I wanted to chat with you about today's sponsor. Yay. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. You guys know that it is no secret. I have struggled with anxiety and depression for a really long time. What feels like most of my life. And I've been really open about that with you guys on this channel. And I know that a lot of you struggle with that as well. So if you are feeling anxious, depressed, overwhelmed, stressed out, life is really stressful right now for like everybody. So today's sponsor, BetterHelp, may be your answer. You've probably heard of them before. BetterHelp offers you over 20,000 different licensed therapists who are trained and ready to help listen to what you've got going on in your life right now. You can talk to your therapist online, in private, at your convenience, in the comfort of your own home, and BetterHelp offers you access to therapists that have a broad range of expertise that may not be available in your area. So it's really easy. All you do is go on their website, fill out a quick questionnaire so that they can better assess your needs. It only takes about 48 hours before they match you with your first therapist and you can start communicating with them right away. So something I really love about BetterHelp is that you can schedule a phone call, a video phone call, a regular phone call, which I usually prefer because I'm a little bit awkward. I know that's probably hard to believe because I'm in front of a camera all the time, but video calls are awkward for me. <laughs> So I always choose to talk to my therapist on the phone. You can also just send them messages. You have an unlimited amount of messages that you can send your therapist. Setting up an appointment is really easy to do online through the app. If for any reason you need to talk to your therapist in between appointments, you can message them. Like I said, it is unlimited and it is included. So if for any reason you do not love the therapist that they match you with, it is really really easy to choose another one and it doesn't cost you anything to switch so even though my original therapist was very very sweet we just weren't a good match so i went back in and i looked for therapists that specialized in exactly what it was that i was looking for and i found my amazing therapist and we clicked right away and it's been a beautiful relationship ever since so come on over fam don't be shy Join the over 3 million people who have taken charge of their mental health today with BetterHelp. And they are offering you 10% off your first month if you use the link in the description box. It's going to be betterhelp.com slash Jacqueline's Jungle. That's betterhelp.com slash Jacqueline's Jungle. So I definitely encourage you to try it, especially if you've been struggling a lot of us struggle in silence, and I beg you to please not do that anymore. I love you, fam. Anyway, back into the video. So, my favorites for the month of August. Let's just get right into it. You've been waiting. The first one on my list 
Today is a really special one because it was a cutting from a really good friend of mine. And there's a fun backstory to this one. I was just telling David before he left the apartment that I was like, do you remember this plant? And he was like, no, <laughs> because how can he I have like 400 plants? So this plant has a fun story because a while ago, a long while ago, maybe a year or two ago, I was shopping with David at a spot in Greenwich, Connecticut, and they have this really cute little aglionema, and I was debating, should I get it, should I not get it? I wasn't really a big aglionema person at the time. I had only had like one or two. I killed one. I gave the other one to my mom because I was like just not in love with it anymore. So I wasn't really into the aglionemas. Do you know what I mean? But this one caught my eye and I didn't get it. And I was so mad at myself for so long for not getting it because I couldn't find another one. So I had mentioned that I liked these probably like in a group chat or something. And then when I met up with my friend Tessa for the first time, she gifted me a cutting of her gorgeous Aglionema chocolate. Look at those leaves, you guys. I absolutely love that it, it looks like just a Maria, like the green coloring looks like a regular Aglionema Maria, but then it's got this gorgeous green, green, pink, <laughs> this gorgeous pink striping down it. And then the backs of the leaves come in this like gorgeous chocolatey cherry color. Like, I don't know, it looks like chocolate raspberry. I don't, oh, you guys. I mean, these are newer, so I feel like they're a little bit darker. Some of the older leaves fade out, but isn't she cute? I think this thing had two leaves when she gave it to me, um, and it's given me a bunch of new ones since I repotted it, and it's working on another one. So this one has really taken off over the last month or so, and it has caught my attention. So I did recently repot it into a nice chunky mix, and this I think I got from World Market. Cute little splatter looking pot. So number one on my list for the month of August is the Aglio Nima chocolate. Let me know if you guys have one of these in your collection. Let me know how you feel about Aglio Nimas. I know they're not everybody's favorite, but I absolutely love this plant and I am a big fan of Aglio Nima. I think they're really really underrated and super easy going and look at how gorgeous those leaves are so if you're the kind of person who's into pink plants you're definitely going to want this one it is definitely more affordable than other pink plants it's just not very readily available so if you do find it in a nursery snag it if not i'm sure there's plenty available online for just like a little bit more money but it is still an affordable plant it's not like rare by any means it's definitely just um harder to come by i think i don't see it very often so there's that number two on my list is a new plant that i just got maybe a week ago i said in one of my videos recently that i wasn't gonna go calathea crazy because i had gotten my makoyana and it was beautiful and i was like we're not gonna buy a bunch but i've had my eye on this one for a while I know she's really finicky. This is a Calathea Zabrina. I don't know if there's like a proper scientific name for it, but I love her leaves. They're like kind of velvety, cute little stripey babes. She's working on some new ones. Some of them were already uh, crispy when I got her, but she was so little and cute and only $12.99. I got her at Mascarillos. And this is the pot that I picked up at Paul's and Sandy's that I forgot to show you guys when I did my pop-up. Uh, not pop-up video when I did the plant shopping video at Morgan's and we went to um, Paul's and Sandy's after I told you I got a pot and then I didn't show you the pot. It was only ten dollars That was cute. So anyway, Scalathea looks cute in it and um, Just hoping that I can keep it happy. I know that this one likes a little bit more humidity, but She's not gonna get that here so hopefully just uh, watering her regularly like the rest of my calatheas will be good enough for her because she's really, really cute. And um, I really like her. She lives on this shelf right here behind me next to the begonia and the ficus. This is the problem club right here. <laughs> 
but yeah she's really really cute so that's her new spot and hopefully uh i come back to you with good updates on her and not that she's dead in like a month so there is that let me know if you have a calathea zebrina in your collection and if she gives you a hard time I have a feeling she's gonna give me a hard time. Plate number three on my list of my favorites for August is right behind me and it is a Hoya but it's kind of a surprising Hoya for me to put on this list because you guys Hoya Chelsea it's not anything fancy or special I have so so much of it but this one in particular grab you was a one or two leaf cutting that I gave David years ago from my original mother plant that actually I just recently threw away because it was totally infested with mealybugs. David had knocked it over. It was all shriveled up, really dry. And like, I just, bless her heart, did not have the energy for her. So she went in the trash because she was gonna die anyway. And I didn't want to just like, waste a bunch of effort trying to save her so and I knew that I had this one which came from a cutting from her so I don't think she has her original leaves anymore if she does it was like this one probably and this one these ones that look lighter green and then boom she did nothing for like a year and then boom she put out all these gorgeous leaves that don't really look like Chelsea they look like a big carnosa and she just put out this one and I don't know I've just been obsessed with it this leaf is really big for a Chelsea and it's got this cute little splash and I just think she looks hella cute I don't know why she sits on the shelf and I sit on the couch and I just stare at her and I think wow you're really really cute so surprisingly <laughs> this Soya Chelsea is on my list this is number three really really cute super underrated I know that there was a lot of hype around her a year or two ago and people have kind of just like fell off but um, I still think she's cute she lives in this little Buddha head over here okay what's next I gotta get it okay so I had to go get number four on my list Today is this gorgeous Hoya fungi. Look at those leaves. I love their veination. I love how like big and gorgeous they can get. They can even get like a little bit wrinkly. Look at that leaf. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, she did have a peduncle. You guys would have seen the bloom. She does have a peduncle. She uh, needs to be cleaned. But the bloom I put up on my Instagram, she was stunning. She came to me with the bloom fully intact. And I just love fungi. I, she's a really easy grower. These leaves get massive and splashy and veiny. I mean, what more could you want in a Hoya? She doesn't look bad trailing, which is always a plus because sometimes they just don't look good trailing and we don't always want plants like that in our space there's a difference between like my rare Hoyas that all look all cute and little and on trellises and stuff that's all fine and dandy like in cabinets and in the greenhouse and stuff like that but in my regular space I really really love just like a simple trailing plant and this Hoya gives me everything that I need out of a Hoya I mean these leaves look at it it's huge so I do have cuttings from her available in my shop they are very affordable very very easy growing they are nicely rooted they should start growing soon and you should go and snag them I do also have the blossom app now too if you guys want to find me on there I'm Jacqueline's jungle I will always be Jacqueline's jungle like any on any app on any platform if you're ever looking for me it's always, always, always going to be Jacqueline's Jungle or Jacqueline's Dot Jungle, but either way, you should be able to find me. Everything that I put on my Blossom app are plants that I am open to offers. So if you have Blossom, you should add me 
And if you see anything that you like, feel free to make me an offer on it. So that is what's going on over there. And I do have some of these listed on there. That was the point of me telling you that. So Hoya Fungi, super duper cute. Her bloom was really pretty and like a nice pale pink color as well. So highly recommend. She is growing. She's got a tendril there, another active tendril there. And um, yeah, she was actively growing here too. She's got another peduncle. So hopefully this one takes off and does really well for me. This one I got from Etsy. Um, I think it's called The Plant Farm on Etsy. She was, I don't know, like $80 maybe. I might be wrong. I think that was about how much I paid for her. And she had a longer, another long vine here that I cut. And um, I did cut some of this one. Some of the leaves were kind of like wonky and damaged too, so I just cut them and propagate them myself. And the new growth comes in fine, and then, and then I can sell them. So most of the cuttings look like this. They're little two leaf, two leafers, and they're really really cute. And they have the potential to get really big and beautiful. So oop, that's okay. That one was damaged. So that is number four on my list. Put you over here, girl. So number five, the last plant on my list. I did have a different plant here and then at the last minute I changed my mind because I wanted to show you and I've low-key been obsessed with my Sansevieria Masoniana, aka the whale fin, San whale fin Sansevieria. So I do have the variegated ones of this available in my shop they're on sale what because i only have like three or four left and i'm just trying to get rid of them and they're also on the blossom app so if you want to make me an offer definitely go and check that out but this one i have to show you guys because look at the baby it's not a baby anymore do you remember when i bought it it was like this big so I just have been watching this thing grow and like slowly unfurl every single day and I love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot get over how gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous this plant is. So, and I only paid $20 for her, $20. That's crazy, literally insane this one i got at gardener supply in hadley massachusetts and i do not regret it she does need to be cleaned up a little bit so you hear my cat like making noises but i don't know what he's doing so anyway that is it for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what your favorite plants for august are maybe we have some of the same favorites i don't know maybe so yeah that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you should give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's also a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam. Get your members only videos and your exclusive group chat and all of the good stuff that comes along with being a member. And then if you want to join our Facebook group, you can do that as well. It's free and open to the public. You just don't get all the perks of being a member. Of course, check out the shop. You know the deal. There's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel. Every little bit is appreciated. Every little bit helps. I cannot do this without you guys. I absolutely love you. I don't know why I stuttered, stuttered over that. I absolutely love you, fam. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, wait. If you watched this whole entire video, leave me chocolate bar. I just chocolate bar emojis. In honor of my ugly Oniva chocolate. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I feel like I look like a bubblegum wrapper with their shirt on. It's like a bubblegum wrapper. Oh. So much editing.